What's going on everybody here in Ecuador? Just finished sunset on the beach with Sarah and now we're making dinner. Well, Sarah's making dinner, I'm watching, filming. Sarah, what are you making? I'm making a sauce with uh, coconut meat, lime, garlic, some cilantro, and maybe some uh, orange juice or I don't know. Some turmeric? Some turmeric, yeah. Some turmeric as well. So, days here in Ecuador on the coast have been really cool. We've been waking up and meditating. And I go to Spanish class and Sarah goes surfing. Then we'll um, go work out at the gym. And then maybe take a little nap, a little rest period. Mm -hmm. And go walk around. Have a good dinner. Run our errands. We like pay the neighbor to juice orange juice for us. And uh, yeah, we just hang out, we just chill. It's that beach life. And what else do we do? We eat a lot of fruit. We eat a lot of papayas and orange juice and you eat lots of bananas. Yeah, I eat bananas if, if I can't get a lot of uh, juicy yeah. fruit calories in. Ideally, we're eating Coconut. like- yeah, we're eating a lot of coconut water, but mostly these papayas have been going in big time. Ton of papayas. This is how you keep stocked, by the way. This is a little uh, inventory video here. Um, so we got lots of papayas. We got a bag of oranges here. There's a 30 oranges here that we we uh, we'll get our neighbor to juice for us. We pay her pay her well for that, and um, get some tomatoes. And tomatoes here on the coast have been really good, actually. Iceberg lettuce, my favorite kind of lettuce. If I'm gonna have a salad, I like iceberg. Uh, we got some uh, passion fruit. Sarah likes to add those to her papayas. Some cilantro for the sauce. And these white pineapples, man, these are so good. Mm. We had one earlier today, how was it? It was super sweet, not acidic at all. Que rico. Muy rico. Muy rico. And, uh, oh yeah, we got some Coca-Cola. <laughs> just kidding, that just comes with the place it's complimentary. We don't want it. Water and uh, bananas. Then, oh, a radish for the salad might be nice as well. It's a rare rarity. We'll get it in there. Mm, and that's it. That's what we stock up on, on our raw vegan diet. Oh, we also get some limes. Not sure if you mentioned that. Yeah. Limes are really nice adding to a, a sauce or salad dressing, whatever. Especially when you don't eat salt. Yeah, especially when you don't eat salt. If you don't eat salt, add lots of lime. And if that doesn't cut it, add some spice. If something's really spicy, you're not gonna think like, oh, it's not salty enough. You're just gonna be thinking, wow, it's really spicy. It's really good. So if you're trying to get off the salt, which I hope everyone gets off the salt, add some spice, add some hot pepper, and add lots of lime or lemon to your sauce or salad dressing, whatever you're eating. So that's it, guys. That's what we eat. And brief uh, update on what we've been doing each day. And then here's a little workstation. My... Uh, Space bar stopped working, so I had to take the space bar cover off and I didn't want to keep pressing this stupid little, it's not stupid I guess, but it's a little button, the space bar button. Pain in the arse pressing that little button every time I'm typing, so I just rented a, never yeah, rent, I bought one of these keyboards, like 20 bucks, wireless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and it's actually been really cool just chilling back. I can like sit on the chair and work on the keyboard and mouse way over here while the computer's over there, so that's been cool. Uh, and we're going to watch a documentary tonight, it's called Meditation, Creativity and Peace. We started watching it the other night and it was really, really good. And uh, looking forward to finishing that tonight, hopefully. Goal has been to get to bed before what time? Before 9. Before 9, but ideally around 8. Around 8. 8.30 max. 8, 8.30 max. Tonight, I think we're on track. What, what time is it now? Mm. If we can... Yeah, it's 7, just after 7, 7.10. So we can eat this, we can be finished dinner by 7.45 for sure. Watch a bit of the documentary, we probably won't finish the whole thing. And we'll be in bed before 8.30, we hope. And uh, yeah, life's good. Life's good here on the coast of Ecuador. We were just in Vilcabamba about a week ago. We're gonna be heading back to Vilcabamba in another week's time. Take a look at uh, what that place has to offer. I really like Vilcabamba. If you never heard of Vilcabamba, just Google it, just Wikipedia it, and you'll see that 
it's the Valley of Longevity. Really cool place to be, really cool place to live, and uh, looking forward to going back there. But here on the coast is a really nice, nice change. Getting a lot of sun here, and uh, loving the surf, loving the ocean. It's really, really cool. Hopefully, I make more videos soon. Not sure why I haven't been doing that, but I got my camera waiting, asking to be used. So I gotta get on that. Quit slacking. But I have been enjoying my Spanish lessons here. Uh, $10 per lesson, and I go one hour a day for the next uh, the next week or so. And I'm learning so, so much. After every lesson, I get a little bit smarter, feel a little bit more wise, a little bit more inteligente. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see where I'll be in another week's time with more lessons. So that's that. Muchas gracias para escuchar el video. Y nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao. Peace.